is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 9th Chapter, Text Number 31, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 9th, 1976, in Mayapur, India. Translation My dear Lordship, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the whole cosmic creation is caused by you, and the cosmic manifestation is the effect of your energy. Although the whole cosmic creation is yourself, still you keep yourself aloof from it. The conception of my and yours is certainly a kind of illusion, maya. Because everything is emanating from you, it is not different from you. The manifestation is also not different from you, and the annihilation is also caused by you. In this connection, the example is of the seed and the tree, or the subtle cause and the gross manifestation. Sangba idang sadasadisha bhavang satunya maya jadatma parabuddhi vyam japatya Jajjasya janma nidanam chitirikshanam cha tadvai tadeva basukala badashti tarva <coughs> Cause and effect Sada sad uh, One disappears The cause appears uh, Disappears And the effect comes into being the very good example is given here. Asti eh? tarva. Asti means see. And the, from the asti, from the sea, a big banyan tree comes out. <coughs> At that time, the asti, the sea disappears. The tree is manifestation. So, this is the example of sadhasattva. Asti, the seed disappears and the tree is manifest. So, the creation of God is like that. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Vijoham Sarva Bhutana. Bija, asti, or seed, is the root cause of everything. One seed, a small seed, a grain, and hundreds of thousand trees coming out of it, and in each tree there are millions of fruits, and in each fruit there are hundreds and thousands of seeds, again from the seed, the same creation, hundreds and thousands, millions of seeds. This is God's intelligence. Ah. How from one source ah, so many varieties are coming out. Again, when annihilation takes place, they again go into the original sea, Krishna. Janti Mamikam, it is said. It is coming out. Jasaika Nishasita Kalama Thabalambya Jeevanti Loma Bilaja Jagadanana Thab. Vishnu Mahanasaya Jasa Kalavisesu. Govindamadipurisam tavam bhajanam. This material creation is done by Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu. The original Vishnu, Krishna, he has nothing to do. Natasya kajam karanancha vidyati. Original God. He shall Paramat Krishna. He is simply playing on flute and enjoying the company of Srimadhi Nara. 
He has nothing to learn. Uh, and how things are taking place, creation, he is the creator. By expansion, Shams from Krishna, the expansion is Balaram. From Balaram, the expansion is Sankarsam, then Aniruddha, Pradyumna, like that. Then Narayana, then again Sankarsan Pradyumna, Dhritiya Chatudva. From this Sankarsan, Mahavishnu. Therefore, Mahavishnu is described, Kalavishesha. The Saikanisya Siddhakalamathavalambya, Jeevanti Loma Bilaja Jagadana Natha. Sa iha jasa Kalavishesha. This Mahavishnu, from whom, by his breathing only, millions and trillions of universes are coming. And each universe, there is a Brahma, Jagadana Natha. Just like in this universe, there is one Brahma. He creates again so many demigods, animals, human beings in each universe. Again, we create so many also. Each of us, although we are very insignificant, still in the history we find one man begets hundreds of children. This is creation. This is Krishna's creation, how things are going. But original seed is Krishna. Sarva karana karana. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi, he has no karana. He is not coming out of any seed. Anadi. Anadi means there is no beginning. He is eternal. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Satchit Ananda Vigraha. So there is no creator of Krishna, but Krishna is the creator of everything. That is called Ishara Parama, the Supreme. Uh, <coughs> everyone may be Ishara, partially. Uh, Ishara means controller. So everyone of us, we are more or less little controller. Uh, and uh, we can we sometimes control some little children or some disciples or some kingdom. So everyone may be controller. They are very much fond of becoming God. God means controller. So everyone can become he is Krishna has given because we are part and parcel of Krishna. So the quality of controlling must be there. Uh, although very insignificant part and parcel of Krishna, still the power of controlling is there, very minute quantity. <coughs> this is understand. Samsa Bibindang. Everyone, Vishnu Tattva is also Krishna's Angsa, part and parcel. Jasya kalavisesa. Kalavisesa means part, part of the part. Kala, angsa, and angsa's angsa is called kalavisesa. So that kalavisesa, Krishna, and Mahavishnu, he is creating millions and millions of universes. So just imagine. What is the creative power of Krishna? <coughs> then Prabhupada Maharaj says, Idam sadasad isha sad asa karjakaram cause and effect. It's like uh, you have got a cloth. Cloth is made of cotton. So from cotton, we prepare thread, 
and from crane we prepare cloth. So when the cloth is there, the thread has disappeared. When the thread is there, the cotton has disappeared. That they are called sadasat. Sat means which is existing and asad means which is no longer existing. So this material world is asad. It is simply for the time being an exhibition. So we have to find out the real existence, sanatana existence, that is Krishna. Ah. You see here in the just like <coughs> this microphone, it has got a date of creation. It will work for some time and then it will go out of order and we shall throw it in the street and again it will disappear in the earth because everything has come out from the earth. This is material world. But we must find out what is the uh, reality. We should not be bewildered by the temporary thing. Our Krishna consciousness movement is to take the, the living entity from this temporary world to the spiritual world or to the permanent world, uh, where there is no more uh, annihilation. Uh, it is eternal, nitta, nitta sasat. So we, living entities, we are eternal. This is maya that I am thinking and this body. This is our ignorance. So the Krishna consciousness movement is to deliver the human society from this ignorance, temporary things. I am this body, uh, this is my country, this is my wife, this is my children, this is, this is my, this is all moment, he. I am this body and anything in defense with the body is mine. But actually uh, there is no such thing. This is, this is called maya. Uh, real thing is the reality is Krishna. Brahma, for a Brahma. All other things, your Vedic injunction is don't try to remain in this temporary uh, situation. Asatoma, uh, Sadgama. Don't remain. But we are so uh, ignorant, our present civilization is so foolish that they do not know what is sat and what is asat. <coughs> they want to stay in the asat. They want to make arrangement to stay in this asat, temporary things, forgetting that however nicely you make arrangement in this temporary material world, you will not be allowed to stay. This is our ignorance. Muranabhi janati mamibva parama bhayam. Krishna says, these rascals, mura, they do not know. <coughs> the word is the permanent state, sanatam. That is what? That is human knowledge. One should know the permanent state. Not be bewildered by the temporary things. That is ignorance. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, Jad atma parabuddhi yam hi apartha. This is misconception. Atma parabuddhi. Atma means mind, and para means others. Where is my and your? Everything Krishna. 
your partha. This is misconception. But the whole world is going on on the basis of this Atma Parabuddhi. My country, my city, my building, my family, my 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 and my and your. Neither your not mine. It is all Krishna. The different energies, manifestation of different energies. Just like fire. From fire two energies are coming. And if we fight that this, you say the light energy is mine and the heat energy is yours. That is foolishness. Uh, the heat and light, both of them are coming from the fire. Everything belongs to the fire. But we are fighting. Uh, heat is mine, and light is yours. Let us divide. How you can divide? Parasya Brahmana Shakti. Everything is manifestation of energy. Parasya Shakti Vivida Yosriyate. Uh, we see in the garden so many flowers, uh, different color, different flavor, uh, different utility. But where from it is coming? It is coming from this earth. Uh, we do not know even how much inconceivable energies are there within this earth. We do not know. Where is the scientist? They are very much proud of their scientific knowledge. Let them say how many varieties of things are within this earth. They analyze the earth. What do they find? They see, see only a sixty percent soda white. No. There are many, many finer chemicals. We, the rascal, can say that so many things are there. This is soda vaita. And this is scientific. That's all. Nobody is scientist. All fools and rascals move on. They do not know anything. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I am this. That is the actual fact. But his energies are so uh, manifestly variegatedness in it. You find so beautiful world. Uh, it is condemned place. Still, you see, by Krishna's energy, the world is so beautiful. So many <coughs> trees, so many flowers, so many fruits. So many varieties of life, so many varieties of human beings. Eh? This is Krishna. Varieties. Prasa Shakti Vividha Yivasriyati. Savaviti. And every energy is acting automatically. Eh? You give the seed, sow the seed of the earth, and automatically the flower, flavor, beauty, Everything will come automatically. There will be no, there is no question of accidents. The so-called scientists, they cannot explain accidents. Why accidents? Eh? Rose flower seed, rose will come. Why not accident by limon? No, there is no such thing as accidents. This is all rascal. Everything is going on. Prasa Sakti Dvidaiva Sriyate Sabhaviti Jnana Bhalakya. In the energy there is automatic knowledge and activity and they are being manifested. Sapalat Mahana says that everything, variety is there, but Dangva Idam Satasat Bhavan. Except yourself. To conceive anything else. Beyond Krishna there is anything. That is Maya. That is Maya. Illusion. Ah. There is nothing except Krishna. Therefore, those who are advanced devotees, they do not see anything. 
simply Krishna in everywhere. Sabar jangam dakhe, nadakhe tar murti. Sarvatta spurae tar, ishta de murti. A devotee sees a tree, but he does not see the tree. He sees it is Krishna's energy. Immediately he remembers Krishna. That is Krishna. When every step you simply see Krishna, that is Krishna. That is possible. Provided you follow the footsteps of Prahlad Maharaj, that is Krishna. Or devotee. Mahajana Dhenagata Sattvamitha. That is the way. If you speculate nonsensically, it is the way. If you follow the devotee, Mahajana Dhenagata Sattvamitha, then you will be successful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.